said I'm back at it again. So once again, I'm back, back at it. Man, I just don't know what to say about this shit, man. The boxing fans, oh my goodness, man. Like, people are so emotional behind the fight that happened over the weekend. Earl Spence and Crawford. Wow. I never thought it would end like this. I mean, as far as, you know, the fans going back and forth, all emotional. I mean, they put, man, these fans put so much emotion in these fighters. Wow. But I never thought it would I never thought the outcome would be like this though. Far as Earl Spence getting beat the way he did. I'm like, wow. I mean, he made Terrence Crawford look like he was like he wasn't human. <laughs> what the fuck? It just showed, you know, that Earl is in it for the money. I mean, not to take away nothing from Earl Spence because he's a great fighter, man. He did what he did to get to the top, to collect belts and make that money. But he made it be known he was in it for the money. Can you blame him? Just like uh, Keith Thurman, the same way. He was in it for the money. He was in it for the money. But the way he got manhandled, hey, hey, like the man said, he said no excuses. I don't even think he came in, came to win no way. I don't even think Earl Spence came to the fight to even win. He just showed up. He showed up and Terrence Crawford showed up. But back on these fans, though. Y'all here looking ridiculous, man. I mean, ridiculous. I mean, the fight... Like I said, that fight made Terrence Crawford look like he's untouchable. Like fucking Superman. Right? And they actually want to see Terrence Crawford fight Floyd Mayweather. A man that's been retired for years. I understand that he's out here doing ex expeditions, but fuck it. Those are expeditions. Not uh, prize fighting. Well, I guess it is kind of like prize fighting, but he's not really fighting uh, high-level competition in these um, expeditions. So how in the hell, why would, why would people, right? Why would people, seriously, they complain about not having the best fights. That's all you fucking hear. The so-called fans talking about the best not fighting the best. That's all I've been hearing. What well, the best ain't fighting the best, blah, blah, blah. And then past weekend when you had the best fighting the best, And it won't just the Earl and um in the Earl and Turns fight. It was also the uh the Japanese fighter fighting over in Japan and his opponent didn't show up either. He was too scared to let his hands go. He got his ass whooped, got his ass beat, got stopped too. So basically, you had back-to-back -back bullshit fights, man. <laughs> the best fight and the best. But only one showed up. But back on these silly-ass fans. How in the hell y'all want to call Mayweather out, out of retirement, to fight Terrence Crawford? 
what the fuck do Floyd got to prove by coming out of retirement to fight Crawford? For what reason? For what reason? You know, what, what, just, just to uh, ease your curiosity? Stupid. It doesn't make sense. They want Bud to fight Floyd Mayweather, a man that's been retired for, for some years now. They want Bud to fight Keith Thurman, another man that ain't been fighting in years. I don't want to see that shit. I thought y'all said y'all want to see the best fight the best. Since Terrence Crawford got the belts, since he has all the belts, since he beat Earl Spence, he got all the belts. So the man mandatory, so the mandatory for one of his belts is Boots Ennis. I think that's his name, Boots Ennis. That's who he should fight. That's who he should fight next. He should fight Boots next. Because that's his mandatory for one of those belts. If you want to fight Earl at 154, hey, then do that. It ain't got to be immediately. I think they say within 30 days, but fuck it. I would rather see Terrence Crawford versus Boots Ennis. That's what I want to see. I want to see the best fight the best, but you got delusional fans saying that Boots ain't ready. How the fuck do you know he's not ready? Well, you see how he just de destroyed Spence when half of you already said that Spence won't beat uh, Crawford? No way. Because Earl too flat-footed, Earl too slow, Earl too predictable. Earl keep his head on the line. Earl has no defense. And that's the way it looks Saturday. Like he had no defense. Couldn't keep his hands up. Getting hit with every fucking shot. Every shot there was, he was getting hit with it. Like he couldn't get out of the way. So y'all want to base that performance of Terrence Crawford on the performance you think he would have with Boots? Two different fighters. Boots Ennis waited. He waited. He fought. He been impatient. That man should be next to fight the undisputed fucking champion. I thought you motherfuckers wanted the best versus the best. Why would you call out Mayweather? He's no longer a top welterweight. He's no longer a top boxer. He's no longer the best. So I don't want to see that. I, I don't want to see Keith Thurman. Right? Because Keith Thurman, is, it, it, he ain't the best either. Keith Thurman is not the best. That motherfucker ain't fight since Manny Pacquiao, and he lost that fight. How the fuck you lose to Manny Pacquiao, and you keep one time Thurman? Talked all that shit, and you lost to Manny Pacquiao. An old ass man. And y'all want to see him, y'all want to see the new undisputed champion fight Keith Thurman? What the fuck did Keith Thurman do? to earn that right to fight for these belts. Not a goddamn thing. When you got Boots that had a, 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 a shit, a good performance. He outclassed his opponent, made his opponent look, you know, like an amateur. And he stopped this opponent. He stopped the man that wasn't ever stopped in his career. And he made it look easy. Boots put on a boxing clinic. He showed his versatility in that fight. At least I think he did. So I think he's ready. I think he's ready for Terrence Crawford. 
Let's see if Terrence Crawford can uh, destroy Boots the same way he did Earl. That's what I want to see. If he can beat Boots, then goes up and beat Charlo, he would be the man. He would be the man of this era. And I believe he would surpass Floyd Mayweather as well. Well, Money Mayweather. Money Mayweather and Pretty Boy Floyd. Because <laughs> Pretty Boy Floyd didn't accomplish that. As far as understanding in three different weight classes. He hasn't done that. But if Floyd was smart, I wouldn't come out of retirement to fight no motherfucker. For what? For you ungrateful fucking fans that never gave Floyd credit in the first place. So why would he come out and give you a fight with, with Terrence Crawford? To prove what? To prove what? Now let's 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 say Floyd comes out, fight Terrence Crawford, as you people demand or wanting, he comes out, destroys Terrence Crawford. Oh, Terrence Crawford won't shit. Terrence Crawford had a weak resume. You already know it's coming. They will tear down Terrence Crawford's accolades and success by being the best boxer in his era. Because Floyd defeated him, came out of retirement, and beat Terrence Crawford. Some of you boxing fans need to sit down, shut the fuck up, and appreciate these good fights or the best fight and the best when it comes. How the fuck you gonna have the best fight and the best then? Uh, and then deviate from that. How do you demand the best fight and the best? Y'all waited, waited for years for Spence and uh, Terrence Croft. You finally get it. Now that we have a, 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 a undisputed welterweight champion, y'all want this man to fight a retired boxer. For what reason? For what reason? For, for Floyd to lose? Shit stupid. Wouldn't mean wouldn't mean a motherfucking thing to me. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see Spence against Floyd. I don't want to see Spence against uh, 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 Keith Thurman. I don't want to see Crawford against nobody else unless it's Spence in a rematch at 154. And which Spence should get. Because he said he made the fight happen. So if Crawford on his square, regardless if he dominated Spence or not, if if if, if Crawford is square dude on, on his standing on his square, he would give Spence that rematch at 154. If he ain't trying to do that, and I want to see his ass fight Boots, Boots Ennis. That's the fight that should be next because it's mandatory. Mandatory. That that shit will make him look, look like a weak fucking undisputed champion. You just you just walk in. You walk into the welterweight division, right? He walks in, right? Turns Crawford did. He walks in, beat um, Jeff Horn. They said he was he was one of the weakest champions of that division. He fought Jeff Horn, won that belt. He only had one belt. And he let Earl Spence do all the heavy lifting. All the heavy lifting. So while Spence was doing all the heavy lifting, Terrence Crawford was preparing for, for Spence the whole entire time. The whole entire time. He let Spence do all the heavy lifting. And he just walked right in, snatched all the belts. Easy walk in the fucking park. Easy walk in the park. So fuck that. Fight Boots next. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see nothing else. Fight Boots.